Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Did you feel the earthquake yesterday afternoon in Kansas? USGS said it was originally a 4.4, which they upgraded to a 4.5. But the Kansas uh, Geological Society, they upgraded it to a magnitude 4.6. 3,150 people reported feeling this earthquake. And many of the newspapers there in Kansas are blaming it on fracting. It was felt over a wide area. Here you can see on the uh, Did You Feel It website. Yeah, all the way down here by Lubbock, um, Fort Worth, and uh, Dallas, Texas. Oh my goodness. Uh, Lincoln, Nebraska, Iowa, they all reported feeling this earthquake too. It occurred at 1.08 p.m. there. Um, the initial first wave of the earthquake came from the west. Tension was applied going south. We got widening of the fault line and it slightly moved uh, towards the east as the fault line moved, but the tension from the quake was applied going south. The P wave is the first wave of the earthquake which goes straight through the ground and the monitors, um, that's what they pick up. Um, that's the roar that you hear of the earthquake before the trembling starts. The Kansas City Corporation that's investigated these earthquakes that are occurring in this location and other places have concluded that the cause of the earthquake is from the underground disposable of waste from the oil fields. You know, we got all these earthquakes that are waking up as we get close to the uh, uh, weakening of the magnetic field um, because of the coming flip that's going to happen. So we don't need oil and gas induced earthquakes creating more havoc. Here we got a 3.2. Now that was last year, November 3rd. They know for a fact that fracking the injection of the waste product into the ground causes earthquakes but they have not been held responsible for any damage will they in the future you know any area because of this uh, induced earthquakes is capable of having a magnitude 5 or greater earthquake I'm sure there was some light damage you know cracks in walls uh, things maybe falling off of shelves cracks in foundations um, who's going to pay for the repairs? Who's going to pay for the repairs? Loss of life and injuries from an earthquake that's been caused by yeah, the uh, waste material being injected into the ground. I really doubt any of the oil or gas industries will pay for damages or injuries. Very few people realize that USGS was first uh, put together, developed if you want to call it that, so they could use tax dollars, American tax dollars, to explore for gas and oil fields here in the United States. That is why USGS was first formed. This report here on Twitter says that there was minor damage to brick chimneys and sheetrock in Hutchinson. So, you know, you got to put out this money. A chimney for a fireplace cannot be used until it's repaired. Yeah, and it's not right that the homeowners have to pay for the damage caused by the oil and gas industry. A Twitter post, I believe this is a highway patrol officer there in Kansas, saying this is not a typical thing for Kansas to have an earthquake. No, it's not. Here on the Kansas Geological Survey website, it shows it was a magnitude 4.6 in the county of Reno. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe. I hope everyone had a very good weekend. Here it was very cold. It's still very cold, about 22 below in South Dakota. Roads are really icy, and over the weekend they were recommending no travel because of the snow. Yeah, we had blizzard-like conditions. It was really bad here. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.